Yes, everyone's favorite lifestyle TV is back. I'm here with Samsung The Frame 2024, and I'm giving you one of your first looks from CES. Let's go check it out. Ah, The Frame. This is the 4K TV that has only become more popular. It's everywhere on social media, so much so that people are literally trying to recreate it using a normal TV and molding. But it's really hard to recreate the real thing. Back in 2022, I believe, it got a significant upgrade to its anti-reflective technology, which is really the key to making the artwork displayed on the screen look more like it's from a gallery. It made a big difference over the previous version when I saw the two side by side. For this year's upgrade, I can't say that I see such an improvement in the same way, but here's what's new. Most notably, in my opinion, is that the frame is more energy efficient with a new dynamic refresh rate. This is a big deal because this is a TV that a lot of people buy with the intention of leaving it on pretty much 24-7. When enabled with art mode, the 55 inch and up models will automatically reduce the refresh rate to 60 hertz. That means you can still enjoy your high quality artwork while using less energy. Better yet, when you're enjoying the artwork, you know you're seeing it with the Pantone validated artful color check, which basically means that the artwork on these under normal lighting looks as true as you'll see in a museum. And if you're not sure what kind of artwork you even want, the updated art store has a new streaming feature that curates a sampling from the art store's collection of over 2,500 images with fresh, free, hand-selected artworks offered monthly for you to use. But if you prefer to use your own images, you'll be glad to know that the SmartThings mobile app has been optimized to make image uploading easier than before. I think it's also worth noting that the frame is not to be confused with Samsung's new music box, which at first I literally thought was a smaller version of the frame, but it's actually just a subwoofer slash wireless speaker that you can optionally add your own photo to. Now, it's still a borderline niche TV, and I think more people will be interested in the new Samsung S95, the OLED TV. Samsung also does have a sick new 8K projector out this year, and you can check out all of our hands-on coverage of Samsung's 2024 lineup at tomsguide.com. So, is this the year to get on the frame train? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe if you want to see more of what we're doing at CES 2024. Be sure to check out what we're doing on social as well at Tom's Guide. And as always, I'm at Kate Kozich. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.